to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my, my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. So Pisces, let's get into this reading. All right, so we got two cards and karmic relationship at the bottom. So we got an ax, a snake, and a karmic relationship. So apparently the karmics are karmicking today because it automatically started off the same exact way. The last reading is a stop and an ending. So apparently it needs to be addressed because here we are. So we got an ax, a breakup, a separation, stopping a pattern, silent treatment or abandonment. Somebody may be giving you the silent treatment or you may have abandoned somebody and apparently this is happening again because this is the same card that was in the last reading very first card same card same energy same thing stopping so a snake somebody's being very conniving they're in competition with you malicious behavior um somebody has lack of self-control so looking over your shoulder in the other woman so apparently there's a female in uh, that is attached to your person or you could be the female Okay, so if I was me and there's a man, so that would mean that this person is around a karmic female. Um, if I was me and I was a man, that means I would be sitting next to the karmic female, okay? So if that helps to put it in perspective, and then so you would be the target. Um, either way, you're the target, period, all right? So bats in the belfry, again. Oh no, where did I get that from? Okay. Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow, artistic flow. 31 is the number. So what did I not cover in the last reading for that to be here? Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. Oh, so somebody's trying to put a stop to your writing. Okay, because last time I was saying something about a spell, somebody doing a spell, but... Um, but it's still mental magic. So apparently I didn't touch on it enough. So somebody's doing mental magic, trying to hold you back, trying to stop you from producing, trying to stop you from being creative. So I guess the new spell, the new energy, and where are y'all coming from? What is the problem? So fairy of the divine hand, intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. So somebody is drinking, drugging. So apparently you have a karmic energy, them and their person probably do get together and they're um, drinking and doing drugs. So their vision is distorted. Um, they see you as you just going off living your life, doing whatever it is that you're doing. Or maybe they think that you're writing spells against them. I don't know, but either way, the ending. So a situation that's being brought to an end or the relationship that was brought to an end. Sneaky behavior, but then there's a karmic relationship right here. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Somebody don't like the fact that you let go of them and have started focusing on yourself. They are a non-fucking factor in your life, and so that's disturbing them. That is making them feel some type of way, so now they have teamed up with a karmic energy to try to hinder you, trying to hold you back, because that's what the last reading was talking about. Um... So again, why are y'all here again? So something that I'm missing. Intuition, sacred knowledge, subconscious mind, divine. Okay, so maybe it's like, because I'm being dismissive. So apparently that might be the issue. You're being dismissive of the people because I'm basically being dismissive. They're non-fucking factor. So why are we talking about them? But apparently it keeps being on the table because they're trying to invade your energy. So let's talk about people's business can then because I try to stay out of people's business. But in, since we hear um, y'all keep wanting to show up, they keep wanting to, you know, impose themselves. Um, the beginning of the projects and creative endeavors. So that being there along with creativity. So something about your creativity or just trying to stop you. Okay, so that may be like something that you were working on that you're wondering why all of a sudden you don't have a love or a passion for it anymore is because of them. They're trying to project energy on you that stops you from writing your songs, writing your book, writing your movie, whatever, like producing whatever it is that you like to do with your hands, building something, um, 
them trying to hold you back from that. But I keep hearing it. Can't nobody break my stride. Can't nobody slow me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. So they mad that you keep on moving. You don't let these people hold you back. You keep on. Even though the energy might be a little bit slow here. So that's the thing. So if you, you starting to feel like a little drag and a little tired, like I told y'all, like it kept being distraction yesterday over and over and over again. So that's energy that somebody's projecting, somebody's sending. So trust yourself, um, having high morals, high values and remaining pure. Remaining pure is basically probably the thing that's keeping you untouched and unscathed by these people. So... We have um, Fairy of the... De what? Well, hold on, let me go back because I said Bats in the Belfry. What was that card? Why did I say that? Um, I don't even know which card that is. I got to find it. Um, what does that Bats in the Belfry say though? Because Why did I get that? That card is not here and I don't think that came up in the last reading either. So where did that come from? It just seems to be a thing that, because it don't make sense that this card is there. It's the same card that was first in the last reading. And then it's almost like the same energy. The first card in the last reading was a coffin. And now there's an ax. So something over, something done with. They're trying to reiterate the fact. But again, I keep being very dismissive of karmic energy because who cares? Like these people are freaking weird that they keep doing what they're doing, like putting so much energy into somebody else's life that if they just chose to, you know, focus on their own self, that it would make sense that they would progress. Okay, here it is. You can achieve great things. Okay. So they want you to know that you can achieve great things. So that's the reason why they're hold, trying to hold you back because they know what you're about to do. I don't even want to block that, matter of fact. Okay, so yeah, they know what you're about to do. You can achieve great things. You are destined for greatness. So, them trying to hold you back. Okay, Empress, damn. High Priestess, Empress vibes. Okay, let me get one more card. You are totally powerful. And maybe that's the other thing, trying to stop you from tapping into your energy. So somebody also trying to scry because all these eyes here, it's like peering into your life. So maybe, the, mm, okay. Them trying to get somebody to, uh, oh, somebody sad. Okay, so over here with these cards, a snake. And it's also giving me the vibe like there's a female that's around this person and they're tired of hearing about you basically. That's it, that's all. Regrets, failure, disappointment, pessimism, loss, and grief. So somebody's mourning you. Meanwhile, back at band camp, you're still alive. You're just not fucking with them. You're not giving them the time or the date or, or, or anything pertaining to that. But meanwhile, you can achieve great things, but you have a higher priestess and empress wish fulfillment. Two, three, nine, and five could be significant. Excuse me. 31 and two. Well, two, two, two is there, so 22. Um, divine feminine trust yourself trust your intuition continue to keep pushing forward know that you are destined for great things you can achieve anything the number is seven also for that card you can achieve great things um just making sure that you continue to focus on god focus keep your head in the right direction do not allow these people to attach to you in any form or fashion, meaning you might have to cut back on some things in order for you to continue to stay focused. So watching who you're hanging out with, with watching your alcohol consumption, watching your drug use, watching your sexual interactions, watching people that try to come around to touch you, like, because demons jump. Because they're trying to find an access point. That's what I keep hearing. And so far, you haven't given them an access point. You keep shooting down everything that they do because in a couple reasons, I don't know how many reasons back ago, it was talking about them sending somebody in your way um, and divine feminine is energy. So it could be masculine, you know, you could be a masculine and your divine feminine, nurturing, caring, abundant, blessed, um, just all the things that they're basically trying to stop. They don't want you to have any of that. 
it's like your future is fucking with them okay which is weird because it has nothing to do with them you're out of there you whatever they did to get you to not focus on them or not pay attention to them probably was their own fault and so but it doesn't matter that's not even a, the deal it's almost as if the same thing the exact thing that i keep saying before your success seems like a failure to them so they didn't complete their assignment when you succeed their assignment their task their karmic life ends and it disturbs them instead of them just focusing on them and minding their own business so you have wish fulfillment here pisces the wish coming true, contentment, satisfaction, emotional stability, luxury, and gratitude. You live a life of abundance and blessings. Um, actually, it's like a higher level at life as well because high priest is being there. High priestess and empress vibes being there. It's like above and beyond. So a blessing out of nowhere, a blessing just bestowed upon you, but the blessing was yours anyway. They act like it's something that's being given. It's already been gave. You already have achieved it and, uh, and obtained it. You just had to know who you were and step into your power. That's it. That's all. So I guess it's a thing just being mindful that they you can achieve great things, but there's an underlying, underlying message that there's a karmic female attached to your person because it says the other woman or you being a karmic female because if you're a cross washer then you bitch you um clearly we can see that you're in the business you're trying to be nosy so somebody is either getting readings on you somebody's scrying into your life but either way the thing that they're saying they're seeing it, it's a distorted view it doesn't matter first of all they go mind your business that's the thing so pisces this the reading and hopefully it helps let's see what happens on the next one go with god Save.